Hi there, everyone, and this is your January twenty twenty one love monthly forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy dot com. First and full foremost, I want to greet you guys a happy, happy, happy New Year, and it is my hope, wish, and desire that you have this year of twenty twenty one be your best year ever. Filled with much love, happiness, and great joy, much better than how it was last year, of course. Now to celebrate this, um, starting this year of twenty twenty one for the month of January, I am doing a very um, highly detailed and in depth reading for each and every every signs out there, basically, wherein I am doing a combination of the tarot. Uh, to give us more of uh, flavor and you know give us give us a more detailed storyline on what might be the energies that could be unfolding for each and every signs out there so just to give us a more uh, a lot more detail a lot more insights and confirmation throughout the reading and I'm also going to be adding in later at the end of the video, uh, so a combination and housing system of the Lenormand cards all at the same time. So, you know, we get the most uh, information out of the readings for this month of January 2021. As I believe that every January, it gives us a flavor on the important themes that might be occurring for us that sets the tone for the rest of the year. So, um... If you are interested to know more on what might be manifesting, what could be happening for the month that could that could re really wrap things up for you for the entire year, then please continue watching and don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button as that will really help me greatly and it's very much appreciated your support to the, this channel for me to continue making videos like this for you guys in the future all at the same time so don't forget to tune in with me for the rest of the video to know more so um yeah without any further ado let's just get started hi there libra libra sun moon and rising sign this is your january 2021 love monthly forecast reading with me chrissy from in the stars by chrissy.com so um as you all know and i have mentioned this in the introduction of the video that this is going to be highly detailed and highly specific so this is actually a very good um, situation if you are actually resonating and really tuning in with the reading because this might exactly be speaking to you personally especially in terms of your love life and relationships but all at the same time because it can be too specific please do know that this is not going to be for everyone you know so not every libra people are going to resonate with the reading so just keep that in mind and most importantly this is a general reading so i'm tuning in with this in a very general scale so um i would advise you guys to use your own intuition as you uh, go along with me through this reading that will be the best course of action you should take however um um, please do um, take note of the keywords that I'm going to be mentioning because that is going to be like an overall energy that might be transpiring for you for the month of January 2021, regardless of what situation that you are going through at this time. So um, yeah, without any further ado and stuff like that, uh, let's just go into the reading. We're starting off with... Um, with the first card over here at the top and then the ending over here at the outcome card. So um, we are starting off with Justice card and the Page of Pentacles. So this could be a situation that really speaks about you and your own energy. You could be in a situation wherein you wanted to set things right. You wanted to go back to normal or to reharmonize a relationship, fix a relationship, or fix something in your life. Personally, uh, that form of situation. It is being crossed over by the five of pentacles and the two of swords um giving us the energy we're in um there could be some form of struggle or an effort is being uh taken into the situation so 
You might be working on this. It could be a work in progress kind of energy, or there is something that you are hoping and wishing deep within your heart and soul that you wanted to have or manifest in the relationship overall. Especially when we have the two of swords, um, we're not really seeing the action itself. It could be, you know, a wish, a mental kind of thing. Uh, it might be a, me a message or a, a connotation that is telling us that you're hoping for things to get better. It doesn't mean that it is, but it is something that you are really hoping to manifest into reality as we start the year of 2021. So that is going to be a very important situation. So this can really talk about your relationship, maybe a specific relationship, or it could be with how you deal with uh, relationships as a whole. And it could be something to do with your very personal life even. So how you live life, how you love yourself, and how you how you are in relationships are being taken into consideration and you want to to put yourself in the right direction basically over here we have here the um the temperance card and the three of wands as the energy of the basis of the situation so this is where uh the, the stuff that i'm saying about how maybe you are wanting to reconnect with someone maybe there is someone in your life that you want to work on the relationship with it could be someone from your past i'm not denying the possibility of that it could be you know you could be having troubles in your relationships in your love life or whatever situation that you're going through i mean and maybe um it takes a bit of effort to to fix that so this is a point wherein you are wanting to bring peace and harmony into your love life and relationships so in the recent past, oddly enough, we have the Four of Swords and the Justice card again. So this is a situation where it, it gives me a feeling that it is very stagnant. You know, whatever it is that has happened in your love life or relationship, things have been, you know, at a pause. So it could also be that your love life has not moved forward at all you know maybe time has stopped for you for quite a while because of a specific situation that you have gone through in the past so that is really what's being shown to us remember that you know as you guys can see um, the man here is lying down sleeping or having that form of action and then we have the justice card covered you know eyes are covered and stuff like that so maybe you haven't seen your partner or um some form of circumstances has occurred that um enabled you to be in touch with your partner maybe you have lost contact with them or maybe you know um the two of you have gone separate ways it could also be that for some people this is a point wherein maybe you don't have a specific person in your life at all even if you are wanting to have one, you know, that form of energy. But for this reading, I kind of feel that this is really more of wanting to connect, wanting to be with someone uh, regardless if it is a new relationship or an old energy, an old flame. Um, either of those things. I just see you really wanting to form a bond with someone. It is something that you have been wishing even... Um, maybe at the last few weeks of last year you're already feeling that you wanted to be in a relationship you're wanting to bond with someone there could it could be channeled into a specific person in your life i just kind of feel that you know this is about you wanting to be in a relationship again and wanting to have some form of contract some form of connection with a specific person in your life so and if time has stopped for you, we do have here the Six of Cups and the Chariot all together, which is really telling us that maybe you are really thinking about someone from the past or someone that you used to know. Or you could be really thinking of having that bond with a specific person and really moving forward with it you know you don't want your your time to continue stopping you know you want to move forward as well whether it is with them 
or uh, personally you want your life happening again you don't want to live life as if time has stopped for you um, especially this month you know there's something that you are really really wanting to experience wanting to feel uh, you really just want to move things forward in your life again you know basically you want life to happen you don't want to live life as if you're dead um though that is this that is like common sense for each and everyone but i kind of feel that for a lot of librans you are going to feel that a lot more strongly because sometimes it's okay for you to live like that it's okay for you to to wait on someone you can be very patient uh libra and you can wait for someone for such a long time um not seeing progress still waiting and stuff like that it can happen to you but this time you are having that energy of you know you are really really hoping and wishing for some form of movement and action being taken into your love life and in your relationships and you might hear uh some form of news um with that or at the very least, there's there's going to be some form of message or or happening that's going to be transpiring for you this month of January. It could be an idea even, or it could be someone enters your life, and it could be someone karmic, someone that you already know as a possibility. It could be your ex, or it could be just a friend who... Um, reconciles with you or reunites with you for some reason and it could be someone entering your life again in very ex unexpected way and there could be some form of karmic ties with them i mean who knows but because of the energies that we do have of very past energy here um, whether it is by energy or something that really happens in physical reality, I kind of feel that, you know, having that past feeling, old love um, surrounding this energy as well. We also have here the Five of Wands and another Six of Cups. So remember, when I do see a lot of, you know, repeating cards, especially when I'm using two different decks it kind of speaks a lot more you know we're seeing uh just this card over here just this card over there we do have the six of cups over here we do have another six of cups over there and we do have that you know vibe that you know especially when you have the temperance card the temperance card is actually the reconciliation card so um, you know, that is really surrounding this energy, whether it is still in process, you know, maybe this is all in progress and maybe this is something that is going to be coming in very soon, but you are going to feel it or at the very least your energy is shifting um, into new realms or shifting towards uh, some form of harmony or some form of peacemaking kind of vibe um, happening. This can also be a situation wherein maybe you are going to get in touch with uh, a past uh, situation or uh, uh, having some form of contact with a friend or someone that you already know in the past. And maybe there are a lot of fears in that. Maybe you are fearing that things might lead into some form of fight again. However, we are seeing over here that the Page of Cups and the Ten of pentacles is telling us that they are coming into your life in positive ways and they're not going to be um giving you some form of heartache at the very least at this time they they don't really have that intention to cause you trouble at the very least Another here, we have here the page of wands. So we do have a lot of pages. When you do have a lot of pages, we are really seeing some form of messages. Messages that really can come in through. Um, this can also be a situation wherein, you know, it gives us a feeling wherein you are very much stuck with the past because of the eight of swords or um you might be stuck into some form of rigid thinking. Uh so, you know whether you it's very easy you know not everyone know but it's very easy to reconcile with someone it's very easy to to get in contact with your ex or be in touch with them or maybe to stay uh to to restart a relationship and that is the reason why a lot of people would say that ex 
does not work out because they are X for a reason. However, in my case and the way that I explain the situation is here is that it's very easy to to reconnect with someone and restart the relationship. That happens. It's not a new thing. It's not it's not new thing. It's not normal, but um, it, it doesn't. It's something that doesn't doesn't really happen every day, but it is possible. And um, the difference here is really more about um, making the relationship stay and really working things out with your partner, with your ex lover, or something like that. It's like um, having the connection and really revitalizing it, and really. Um, having a restart of a relationship and keeping it keeping the relationship and as you go and move forward in the f- to the future with that person in place so um the overall card of the reading we do have here the 7 of wands and the 7 of swords so this is where we are be we are really seeing the hard work so um, this could be a situation wherein maybe you are working on something and, you know, you might need to um, put back the pieces of any loose ends that has occurred in your past. Or this could be about uh, an effort that needs to happen, needs to be taken into the consideration, especially if you are going to restart a relationship, recreate a relationship once again. So uh, it's very important that you don't get hung up with what has occurred in the past. So do remember that there's still going to be some form of effort. Not everything is and flowers and butterflies, you know um work needs to be done at the same time this could also be a situation wherein you might be at the point wherein you know you want to balance what is really happening for you in a very personal way and in terms of your love life and your career life you don't want to burden your partner with your own emotional um, baggage you know you when one when you are starting a relationship i feel This is really more about you're not just thinking of being in a relationship with someone, but you want to do things the right way this time around. So that is going to be very important for you for this month, especially. So you are going to be making an effort, not just with the relationship itself, but with, you know, with the things that you feel that you are lacking, you are willing to start over from scratch and you know even with your career you are wanting to to fix something um at the very least you're wanting to to start something with that so that there is going to be a balance with when it comes to your personal life and your love life you know you're being able to give attention to your own self and give attention to your partner all at the same time which i think is a really really good thing because it's somehow very much a healthy kind of way of thinking so that's going to open a new chapter of your life a new chapter of a relationship especially if there's going to be some form of reconciliation that occurs for you which i am not going to be surprised if that really happens because astrology wise they are entering the mercury retrograde very soon um maybe around the end of the month so it's going to be a new chapter a new set of reading that that we can look forward to for february i mean who knows right but um yeah because of that mercury vibe and that mercury vibe is going to be happening in your fifth house Uh, fifth house is going to be your aquarius especially for those of you who are libra risings so um having some form of reconnection with a past lover is actually very possible i'm not expecting you to have that this month but it can happen because of this um vibe and energy that we're picking up so let us see overall um what might be uh, the lenormand reading that we are having over here again we have the ring card and if you have seen my other videos i've been seeing uh this very much lately we have i keep getting the ring in the book and stuff like that but over here this could be a situation wherein there is a complication about a relationship and then 
uh, it could be a news from a very powerful person or someone very, very much important to you. And for some reason, the bear card is actually someone from the past. Sometimes, you know, it can signify an ex. So how, <laughs> you know, that is not something that I did not really plan. Uh, so that's very interesting. We have over here the anchor card and the birds card, which is, you know, telling us that this could be some, there could be some form of communication that finally happens, you know. There has been no communication whatsoever and then suddenly something occurs. And speaking of communication, we have here the ship and the letter card. It could be a communication from distant land or someone from afar. It could be from foreign lands. So communication might really just occur. And we have here the tower card and the whip. So giving us, you know, some form of um some some form of sexual energy even and some form of contract or um happening in terms of your love life. Especially when we have the letter card and the whip together, it's like a message that is going to be repeating, a repeating message. Or especially if you haven't been in touch with someone, it, it, this could really tell us that a message might come again. So uh, something is being repeated or something happens again, that form of energy. Uh, the tower card and the whip card, if I am going to see this in a very... Uh, you know, uh, if we are take, talk, taking a look in a, in a love situation, this could be a situation wherein um, uh, tower can be a signifier for singlehood and then whip card, you know, getting contact with someone and having some form of excitement in the air and uh, through some form of message or, you know, <laughs> whatsoever. And um, this can create some form of, you know, a sudden change with how your relationships become. Uh, as well but you know that's going to be um how you handle that it's going to be a new chapter of things it's something that is not within the scope of the reading but what you're seeing here is that you are going to be receiving some form of news some form of communication discussing and sharing information sharing stuff uh, or uh, some form of talk with a specific person communication might be something that is within the stars for you this month you know it, i'm not expecting that to happen at the beginning of the month but maybe around um as we end the month that comes in very strongly it could be you who is going to initiate i mean i don't know i just kind of feel that you know there could be something that is not within your plan that might be initiated either by you or someone outside of you um Regardless, that is going to shake things up into your love life. And that is going to be a very exciting way how you begin and start your journey into the new year of 2021. So that is something to look forward to. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. This is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. If you do want a more personal reading, just like this one or something more specifically done for you and your own situation, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website, In The Stars by Chrissy.com. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys again next month don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe button to get more videos like this for me in the future goodbye